Let me introduce you to a new way of building Tasker tasks with Tasker's web UI. Now this is still very early, but you can take a look. Right here, I have a task that it's a simple task, nothing special, just to show how this works. And down here, you have a new option called Enable Web UI. And if you do this, you can see that Web UI is now running and you can access it on this address. If you now go to that address on your PC, for example, or any other device on your network, you'll see something like this. This is a page where you can test the API, the HTTP-based API that Tasker now has that you, uh, that you can use to ma manipulate the task over here. So, for example, let's see. If I use this API endpoint here called get task actions, I can see that I have uh, an action called text image dialog, and these are the arguments it has. So, as you can see, test two, test two, and so on. Every argument here is here, and every action is here. So you can get the current task actions from the API. You can also get, uh, for example, you can also insert actions, delete actions. For example, let's try deleting the first one. So index is zero based. And if I do that, watch the, the, the UI here, it goes away. So whatever you do in this API will be reflected immediately in Tasker's UI as well. And with all of these API endpoints, you can now build your own pages or the community can build its own page or pages to edit the, the task in any way they like. So for example, I've created an example page here. Again, this is very simple and it won't work um, for everything you want because it's just an example. But if I put my URL here, you can see that it immediately populates the task here. All the actions show up here. And now you can, for example, move actions. Let's try moving the first action to the third place on the task. And you can move, check the UI here on the phone and over here on the PC as well. See, it moved. You can delete an action. Let's try delete the first one. There it goes. Let's delete all of them. And I have an example here just to make it easier to add a flash action. So let's add a flash action with this is a flash. Hello from Tasker. And if I add this, you can see that the action was added in Tasker. And if I run this in Tasker, you can immediately immediately see that it worked. Cool. So to make it even more advanced, I've added an example of adding any type of action. So let's try, for example, adding a media volume action. Let's set the level to 20, display to true, so that the media volume uh, shows up on the screen. OK, now I have the media volume. Now let's add a four. No, let's add an array set action and set the array array to one, two, three, for example, and the splitter to comma. There you go. And now let's do a four item in the array. OK. You can see that the four is now open. I still have to fix these display issues, but that's besides the point now. And now let's add a say action with text item. So it will say um, every item on that array. The default one is this, and I think the stream is four, maybe three. <laughs> I have to fix this then to, to make it easier to know which values are the correct ones, but just to test it out, this works. Three, maybe. And now it's inside the four, as you can see here. And now add an end four add. 
and as you can see your task is now fully built and what we'll, this will do is we'll show a flash action uh, show a flash then change the media volume to 20 then set an array with these values then for each item in the array it will say it out loud let's see if it works one two three cool so as you can see this very uh, very low quality <laughs> uh, uh, website that I've created here or web page that I've created here to edit the task can be used to quickly add some actions in your task of course if you if you go to through the trouble of building a, a, good, a good website a good web page with good functionality you can make it potentially very easy to edit your task from your PC or from any other device and make it much faster than instead of having to input uh, the task actions one by one on the phone. So this is the new Tasker Web UI API, which allows you to create web pages like this one, but better potentially, to quickly and more efficiently edit your tasks from any of your devices. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.